Welcome into the Greater Texas Ford Dealers inaugural Female Athlete of the Month. From Texarkana to El Paso, the Panhandle to San Angelo, the Permian Basin to East Texas, Waco, Wichita Falls to Lubbock, and many points in between. We celebrate the remarkable achievements of female high school athletes based on performances on and off the field and courts. From Class 6A to private schools, it's the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. Joining me now, one of the best hitters in the state of Texas, the one and only Chloe Viasana of Big Spring High School. You can see the steers. She wears it and wears it very proud. She is our Class 4A Greater Texas Four Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. Well, it's so fun to celebrate you, Chloe, and all your accolades. What did you think when you heard that you won this prestigious honor? I was kind of, at first, I was kind of just caught off guard because... I really just like to have fun with it. I'm I'm not in any kind of competition with anyone. So when I finally like got recognized for just doing what I love, man, it hits the heart deep. Well, I look at your statistical numbers uh, for softball. It's like video game numbers. I mean, it's just insane. <laughs> You're hitting almost 700. You have a slugging percentage of 1,300, 2,000 OPS, 13 homers, 51 RBIs, all state, all region, all everything. What are you most proud of? I guess I'm just proud of doing it, doing it all. <laughs> all the accolades. How did proud you become I such a I big know. offensive machine? Um, I guess we really started um, last summer, uh, summer of 20, going into the season of 2024, summer 23. Man, it just, it all clicked. And it was like, I, I got to start producing for my team. You know, having such a young team coming up, we lost. Um, 18 starters with, within the last two years of my high school team. So thought I ought to get out there and start making a name for us, at least trying to. So, Yeah, I think about you and your fellow senior, Rebecca Rodriguez. You guys are really tight, great friends. The only two seniors on the team, did you take it upon yourselves to kind of lead the way and try to grow up those young girls? Yes, yes, for sure. So me, myself, I've always been the vocal leader. And so I've been more talkative, but Becca, she really stepped in and just being like, show you how it's done and then making you like actually producing it. So she's really helped me out of like just actually leading me as well and showing me how to lead the right way other than just telling people how to do stuff. You can show them and you can help them while they're doing it, like and go into the journey with them. And she really did help me out a lot and also leading me as well and making me better. Well, you look at your numbers, and they just exploded this year, and so much in the power uh, categories with RBIs and home runs with 13, and you hit 51 uh, RBIs on the year. How much work did you put into your hitting to kind of, you know, bring your game to another level because the team needed it so much? Oh, it was it was every day. As soon as summer hit, and I, I tried out for a Texas Futures team, and I made the team, it was every day from there. Even whenever I started playing um, high school volleyball, if I wasn't doing too good in that, I'd, I'd call my coach, have her open the field, and I'd go hit. That was my therapy. I think the thing that really amazes me, it's really paid off for you, is the fact that you can bat for average and for power. Most people cannot pull that off. How have you been able to do that? Well, it's all about mentality when it comes to softball, especially at the plate. So my mentality is, okay, I'm a big hitter. I have the muscle for it. If I happen to hit a home run, I happen to hit a home run. But right now, I just need a double or single or a triple. I look at what you've been able to accomplish. You know, you've been the offensive MVP in the district with your ridiculous power numbers. How did you continue to perform, though, with such a big target on your back? Because when the competition would play you girls, they mm -hmm. knew that you were the one they had to shut down. Sometimes being on top, you have to embrace it. There's a thing called cocky confidence, and whenever I'm at the plate, oh, I'm the most cocky. I'm the most confident. I'm the best player. I'm the best hitter in this whole district, and that's what I tell myself every time I step it up to the plate, and they really did pay off. You inspire me by just saying that, and I noticed, <laughs> noticed you also dabbled into powerlifting the last two years of your high school career. How much did that help your softball? Oh, I think that helped tremendously, just getting my strength up and – uh, my like my muscle to fat ratio like my muscle to body weight ratio it really did help I had so I gained so much muscle and just power and with like finding my strength within myself and having the confidence of 
I can't lift this. And then you go up there and your teammates are yelling for you and you lift it and you're like, whoa, kind of strong. Well, what I like about you, you like that violent part of it, you know, <laughs> the power lifting, that instant thing. And then, you know, with the home runs and softball, and you also like spiking the ball in volleyball. How much did you enjoy that sport? Oh, I love volleyball. Volleyball was just a second home for me. I, I could, it was so hard to give it up, but you always have one more love, but it was just amazing. Love volleyball. Well, you've also been a wizard in the classroom, top 15% of your class, National Honor Society. We could go on and on about all the awards that you have received academically. We just don't have enough time here. Why is the classroom so important to you? It all started whenever freshman year, you know, you start that little, I'm a, I'm on varsity. I don't have to listen to anyone. I don't have to do anything. But then it, it clicks and you're like, okay, student, athlete. So that's whenever I really got into I, you want to be smart. You want to be top 10%, top 15. Like it, it feels good to know that you're a baller and you're a smart baller. I like that. And I know you've been on student council and you are the class president. How much have you enjoyed that role leading everybody else? Oh, I, I love my class. My class has to be one of the greatest to ever set foot in Big Spring High School. And just to put my name out there and be their leader and just get to be known by class president of class 2024. I love it. Did it mean a lot to you that your peers liked you and loved you so much to put you in that spot? Yes, I've, I've worked so hard to create all these relationships with so many people. And I just, it warms my heart to know that they voted me to be their leader and to be the name for us. And I just, I love my classmates so much. Well, your mom talks about how self-motivated you are. You know, most kids, when they go off to their room, they're just chilling, playing video games all night. But you're back there studying and studying college courses and stuff like that. What motivates you to do that? The, I think what motivates me most is the end goal. I know like in that time, I don't want to be studying right now. I just want to take a nap. I want to watch some TV. But I know if I study right now, I'm, a, I'm like, I'm going to feel so great about it later with all those accolades and NHS and everything. Not easy playing all these games and all these different sports and then concentrating on the classroom and being so good academically at your school. I know you've been taking those college courses through Howard College and you earned the prestigious Dora Roberts Honors Scholarship for being in the top 10%. How difficult was that and how special was that award for you? Man, going to college is so different from high school. It's a job every day. You have an assignment on the weekends, every day, even if we show up to class two days a week. You still have something new every day. So just having my classmates and my friends being there for me, holding me accountable and just us being there for each other, it really did help out. I love your family dynamic. you got five siblings. You have an older sister who was a great home run hitter uh, like you. Uh, did the two of you kind of push each other a little bit in the softball game? It was more of her pushing me to be the best. <laughs> being the younger sibling, you know, you're kind of like in the shadows, I guess, so. I really just look up to her and just, I wanted to be just like her. And then it, it happens to me, I'm, I'm, I'm better than her, that I'm better than her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you better than her? That's an argument for another day. <laughs> you want to hear it though. I know that you played a lot with her and uh, she, you would play up with the older girls on her team as a pickup player and got a lot of opportunities. They were like, hey, this young girl can play a little bit. How much did it help your softball game playing up like that? Oh, if I could recommend playing up, if you have an older sibling or just like a friend or a cousin, play up because it's such a different game than just playing with girls your age, especially in travel ball, because I was playing 10U when I was eight, I was playing 12U when I was 10. And then just like getting to know the faster game, the younger you are, it's just, it helps out so much. Well, I know that the Big Spring community is through and through the blood of your family. It's nothing but steers, grads in your family. Your mother and father have been together forever. They just celebrated their 32nd anniversary. Uh, congratulations to them on that. I know there's so much love in your family. Uh, your dad was even the mascot back in the day. Does he ever put the, you know, the, the headdress on a little bit and walk around the house and try to scare everybody? He sure tries. <laughs> He walks around with two horns up always. <laughs> what is it about the community that you enjoy so much? Man, I can go on and on about Big Street community. Just like, just having, it's like a big family. Having everyone by your side, having everyone know your name and 
cheering you on. Like people I don't even, I've never even met before. Like they know me by softball and they're, they're cheering me on. They have no clue what a double play means. And they're just cheering us on. Well, I think about, you know, all those games, all the rain outs, the rain delays, your mom's there for all of it. She's your official chauffeur. How much has she meant to you and your athletic prowess? She's mean everything to me. She's she's got me here, and I'm not trying to get emotional, but she means everything to me. So we'll just leave it at that before the waterworks start coming. <laughs> when you hit that home run and you run around the bases and you see her there and you know oh. about all the support that she's given you, how much has she meant? Man, she, she's done everything for me. She's gotten me to where exactly where I need to be. She's done so much. I can't even can't even explain how much. Sorry to make you cry. I mean, I, I kind of want to cry a little bit too, <laughs> just listening to how much you love your mom and just uh, really yeah. fun to hear that. Um, she tells me these stories about how you are pretty much living on YouTube, watching softball and baseball videos, <laughs> funny ones, highlights, bloopers, and all that. What's going on with that? Uh, if, you, if you saw my YouTube feed, it's all softball, baseball. I just you watch the best, you try to be like the best, and you end up, hopefully, end up the best. Well, one of your best friends is uh, baseball superstar Izzy Diaz, who, like you, is the MVP of the district at DH. I, I kind of get the sense that you guys are the queen and king of hitting in that community. Is that fair to say? I'd say that, yeah. Yeah, I'd say that. He's a great hitter himself. How much do you guys feed off of each other and, and learn how to better your games? Oh, we hang out. We hang out all the time. And every single time we hang out, it's a trip. Softball, baseball, it's always a it's always a competition, you know, having our little rivalry about who's better. But <laughs> I always end up winning. But he's always there for me, even when, when I have my down days. He's always there for me. We'll have to check on that and see if you're always winning about that with him. <laughs> uh, you know, you've been surrounded by some great coaches in your career. How inspirational has Coach Bryant been to you? Coach Bryant is, he's a character and I love him. He's just like me. If there was a boy version of me, it would be Coach Bryant. He's always hes always there pushing me to be, my, to be the best me I could be. He's always there teaching me something new. He's always got something good to say, something worth saying, and I just love it. I know at times he can even yell at you from the stands and it motivates you to hit a big home run. Uh, do you need someone yelling at you to make that happen? Sometimes you do. Sometimes you're just not in your game. You just you need that little push. And whenever you hear the motivation coming from the stands, whether it be a parent, a coach, or a random uh, student from school, it, it really does help because I can just hear that in the back of my head. And I'm like, okay, it's for them. If they want me to do it, it's for them. Well, your travel team coach, Larry Sanchez, has also been very instrumental to you. That is when the pitchers are not hitting him. <laughs> uh, talk a little bit about how inspirational he has been to your career. Man, Larry has played such a big part over the past year, even just spending as little time as I had with him. He has helped me so much. Like, I never thought I could be better than I was until he gave me the vision and the, the opportunity to be the best. A lot of girls don't want to play catcher, but you do it, and you do it very well. What is it that you love about the position? Because people don't realize that you pretty much control the game. Yeah. So catching to me is just like, man, it's another home. It's being back there behind the mask and just clearing everything out. It's me and my pitcher cheering her on, just being the star, letting her be the star of the show. I'm there for her, just knowing that I can make a difference as well, getting the ball every single time, being – the leader on the field directing everyone. It's just, it's so, it gives me so much like, so much joy and power within myself to know that uh, it's really worth it. It is honestly the pain, the getting hit by a pitch every on a missed pitch, blocking a ball, carrying a, a ankle, like whatever, getting, getting a play done. Like it, it really is worth it just knowing that they're looking at me and they're waiting on me to tell them what to do and tell them how to do it. You know, it's just, it's amazing. Well, I know Coach T at Midwestern State loves hearing that. Uh, that's where you're going to go play softball. What was it about his program that really enticed you to want to go there? Man, Midwestern is just – Wichita Falls at that is just a beautiful place for a home. I mean, I'm so excited to start my journey. And, of course, um, having Coach T there by my side, she really – whenever we we first met at a camp, she had me go head-to-head -head with someone else and just 
to learn our knowledge of the game and just proving to her that I know the game as much as you want me to know the game. I'm willing to learn more. I'm willing to work harder. Just knowing that she had that trust in me without even fully knowing me is just, it warms my heart and that she took a chance on a girl from a small town in Texas. That is so well said. Um, when you think about your legacy at the school, so many people, they're going to remember the stats. They're going to remember, you know, class president and all that good stuff. What do you want to be most remembered for when you come back to your class reunion, say, a decade from now? When, when I come back, the most I want to be remembered for is my personality and my good attitude, my good vibes. Every single day is a, is a fight for a great day and just having to smile through it and fake it till you make it. I hope everyone realizes that. Even if it's a bad day, make it a good day. If it's a good day, make it a great day. If it's a great day, make it the best day ever, you know? Just being that that bubbly personality that people can come come up to me and talk to me whenever. You sound like Coach Jordan there a little bit, <laughs> talking about <laughs> some of that stuff. Um, what about that coach and, and, and uh, how you have learned so much about the game being there in high school with her? Uh, coach Jordan, she's been she's been with me through thick and thin. It started a freshman year on the freshman volleyball team. Don't know her. She's she's very joke. She's she's a jokester, and some people might take it the wrong way. But getting to know her and just learning her personality, man, we click instantly. And it's just like that's my best friend. If she was my age, we'd definitely be best friends. So, who are some of the softball players that you like to emulate your game? Um, the you know as. So I'd like to like. Like, compare myself to? Yes. Mm, someone, I know this is very cheesy and this is very broad, but Jocelyn Allo, man, I'd be sitting in class. I finished my work, sitting in class on my Chromebook, watching Jocelyn Allo videos, trying to trying to hit exactly like her. Even when I'm on the field and I'm in my zone, in the, in the batting cages, I put out a video of her and I pause at every, like, every single little critique she does, I want to be exactly like that. So I try to imitate, like, do the same exact thing that she's doing mid swing. Well, it's definitely working. And I love the energy, you know, after she hits it, you have that yeah. same energy and that excitement. Uh, when you hit a home run, what goes through your head when that ball goes over the fence? Oh, watching the ball go over the fence is the same as when you're in volleyball and you spike it so hard and you see it hit the ground. It just, it creates a little fire inside of you. It makes you want to scream. It makes you want to jump. It makes you want to do a backflip. Can't even do a backflip, but. It just, it makes you want to, it makes you so happy. It's like a fire where it goes off inside of you. <laughs> well, fireworks are going off inside my head. Such a pleasure to celebrate you. A big congratulations on being the class 4A Greater Texas Four Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. Thank you. Your Greater Texas Four Dealers is so proud to recognize the hard work, dedication, perseverance, and passion of so many Texas high school female athletes who inspire us all. Here's this month's winners. And don't forget, you can see their interviews at Greater TX Ford for Greater Texas Ford Dealers. From Class 1A to 6A, plus private schools, we celebrate them all. Thanks so much for watching the Greater Texas Ford Dealers inaugural Female Athlete of the Month. See you next time.